Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video and this is again, yet again, a reaction video. Now in this video we're going to be reacting to what does every US state flag mean? Now I've done a couple of these reactions before to do with accents in different areas and people have recommended other videos to react to which I will be getting to those eventually. Um, I do kind of pre-record some of them for like a half a week's worth because I'm at uni. So I will be reacting to the videos that you guys do recommend, it just might take some time to get there. Um, and yeah, before we get into this video, I have to quickly say that 94% of you guys who currently watch my content are not subscribed. Now, if you do enjoy my content and would like to support me further, it would mean the absolute world to me if you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know exactly when I upload next, which is every single day at this point. So, yeah, if you do enjoy the content, then please do that. And yeah, let me know if you want me to watch to any react to any other videos let me know in the comments section down below and without further ado click this and we can get down to reacting welcome to the united states keyword Hello. states and there are 50 of them each has their own culture history sometimes even dialect if okay, you nice. are a state then you have a flag and as a channel about geography that's all i care about but too few americans know the history and meaning behind those flags even the story I didn't know there was history between flags. I just thought you full of a flag and bam, that's your flag. Is behind their own home state. So that's why I thought it's time for a little overview <sighs> on the meaning. I do apologize for the yawning. I'm quite tired. Of the U.S. state flags. First off is Alabama. Alabama. The flag of Alabama. Why does that look like an English flag? Has a crimson St. Andrew. Except we're across. Cross atop a white background. This was adopted in 1895 and is based off of the battle flag of the 60th Alabama Infantry Regiment of the Confederate Army. Hence, most southern flags are based off the Confederates. Alaska. Alaska's flag was actually adopted more than 30 years before it officially became a state. Oh, nice. Designed by an Alaskan native and orphan Benny Benson, the flag has a dark blue background symbolizing the sky with eight gold stars. Seven in the shape of the Big Dipper, a part of the Ursa Major constellation, which means Great Bear, and an eighth on the corner symbolizing the future for Alaska. Arizona. The flag of Arizona was designed by a captain of the National Guard, who realized while training with other states, Arizona didn't have a symbol, so he made one himself. This design was then passed <laughs> down and reworked when statehood finally came. The flag is split in two. The top half has 13 red and gold rays of the sun in reference to the original 13 colonies. The colors in honor of the Spanish conquistadors, even though those colors were never actually flown by them. The star symbolizes copper, a major resource, and the blue is a reference to the Colorado River, Arkansas. That's quite a cool fact, actually. That was quite cool. The flag of Arkansas was designed in 1912 because they needed a flag to fly on the USS Arkansas, and there was none. The flag consists of a diamond, symbolizing the only diamond resource in the U.S. at the time, with 28 stars around the border, as in the 28th state. The original design had three stars in the middle of the diamond. Their meaning is still debated. The committee for the flag, as committees do, just had to make changes and added the word Arkansas, just so you don't forget. In 1923, a fourth star was added to pay homage to the Confederates, and that design is still around today. California. The bear flag is a reference to the 1846 bear flag revolt. The bear itself is actually extinct. It's from a species nice, called the nice. Californian grizzly bear, which died off in 1924. The red symbolizes courage and the white purity. The star symbolizes Texas. At the time, Texas was another Lone Star state that was enemies with Mexico. They saw themselves as brothers. Oh, how times change. Colorado. Nice. Although the state... Is that was quite cool, actually, as well. ...itself is a century old, the flag of Colorado was adopted in 1964. The sea, I'll let you guess what that means, is a red color for the earth. The golden disc symbolizes the sun, and the blue for the sky. The white stripe in the middle... They're all quite simple. ...gold is for the snowy mountains. Connecticut. As I've realized, they're all quite simple. The flag of Connecticut is actually not the state seal atop a blue banner. I wanted to rant about this infuriating trend across too many states, but guess I'll have to wait. While it does include a bit of a seal, it's atop a white shield. The three grapevines reference to the original three oldest settlements. Grapevines symbolizing growth. The motto, he who transplanted still remains, flies underneath the shield. Delaware. Although Delaware... That's a really cool flag, actually, that Connecticut one. Where is the oldest state, its flag is barely a century old, and its flag even has the state's date of founding across the bottom. <laughs> nice. The seal in the center with a diamond surrounding it. The colors are in reference to the uniform of George Washington. Florida. History lesson, 
Florida had been under the control of the Spanish until 1822, when Spain just didn't want it anymore and ceded the territory to the U.S. Florida didn't have a flag until the Civil War. After the war, the state was simply the seal with a white background. By 1900, it was apparent this looked too similar to a surrender flag, and so it was changed to a crimson St. Andrew's cross. This time not in reference to the Confederates, but... That flag does look quite similar to the other one. I forgot what it's called. The Cross of Burgundy from Spain. Georgia. Georgia is that state that can't seem to pick what outfit to wear. Since the Civil War, it has changed its flag over seven times. Jesus. Twice since the year 2000 alone. Before 1879, it didn't have a flag. But eventually, it did change. And its new banner was to memorialize the Confederate soldier. The three stripes, red and white, in reference to the original flag. Keep in mind, the first official Confederate States flag was never this but this. And the Georgian flag wow. kept this general design for a few decades, changing it occasionally like a new layer of paint, putting on new seals and stuff like that. In Gosh, 19... changing it so often. The stripes were replaced by the battle flag of the Army of Northern Virginia. I wonder why. This flag stuck around until 2001. Well, See, when I think of America, that's the only flag I actually picture. I think of the American flag and I think of that flag because I could be very wrong here, but when I think of that flag, I think of hillbillies and rednecks. I don't know why. I don't know how I even relate to them. I don't know anything about that stuff in America. I have no idea. But that's just what, that's where my mind goes. I have no idea why. But most, most people here, if you ask them, you know, what's this flag? They'll probably tell you. It's probably like, oh, that's like the redneck flag or whatever. I have no idea if, I'm probably very wrong, so I do apologize. You can correct me in the conversation down below keeping it eventually became too controversial. Those who disliked this flag actually opted to fly the pre-1956 flag, which was still a reference to the Confederates. In a hurried attempt to get a new design, a new flag was chosen, which was... oh... god. After two brief years, this flag was dropped by popular referendum with the current flag, now with just a slight resemblance to the original CSA flag. Hawaii. Hmm. Hawaii is the only... Great Britain! State in the US, which includes the Union Jack. For now. The reason for this. We're doing for now! For now, forever! Is for a brief <laughs> moment in Hawaiian history, it was associated with the British Empire. Its flag shares the similar style to the US, and it has eight red, white, and blue stripes for the eight main islands of the archipelago. I okay, that's pretty. That, see, that makes sense. That's pretty cool. Okay, now I can finally talk about something that has infuriated me as a fan of vexiology, study of flags, more than anything else. There are 50 states in the Union. 24 of those states have flags that are nothing more than the state seal, which look like these, over top a blue, green, or basic color background. Washington's seal only includes the face of George Washington. The state which has the nature of this, a distinct culture of its own, has a flag that looks like this. Wow. Uh, flags are symbols. They represent our history and heritage. A summary of who we are. Putting a seal on a... I didn't even know there was a study in flags. I know I said that a while ago, but I'm just thinking like... Wow, there's a lot of flags and a lot of meanings, and I did not pay attention to any of this, and I didn't learn any of this in geography. Solid background for a state flag is the vexiology equivalent of microwaving a Hot Pocket for a romantic dinner. If a state's flag can't even be differentiated from afar or up close, then that's just wasteful. For example, what flags are these states from? New York and Michigan, two entirely different places. From an outside view, they could be neighbors. Without the names of the states either plastered on or included in the seal, we couldn't even tell half of them apart. Idaho is one of these states. And so I'm not going to waste my time or yours saying the state seal with a solid blue, green, or white banner over 20 times. So here are the states which have made it onto Cody's list of shame. Nice. So they're the ones we're just gonna forget about. Let's just move on. Love the music. The shame. Shame. Oh. Indiana. Really getting that shame shame across. Indiana's flag consists of a gold torch symbolizing liberty, surrounded by 19 stars, as in the 19th state in the Union, with the word Indiana included for good measure. Iowa. Iowa's flag of red, white, and blue is homage to the French tricolor. <sighs> Iowa was once a part of the Louisiana Territory, ruled by France. A bald eagle flies... One might assume a oh. fiery hot asteroid demolishing hack... I'm just gonna mute them, but I will talk over this. What a lovely advert that is. Oh, I can skip it. I'm 
I do apologize. Got to skip that a while ago. <laughs> Holding the banner of a state motto, uh, our liberties we prize and our rights we will maintain. This evil That's a pretty cool. It's pretty directly cool. Directly from the state seal. But at least it isn't the whole seal. So, thanks Iowa, Maryland. Without knowing, you would think that the flag of Maryland is more from Europe or the Middle Ages than mm. something from the United States. Yeah. The black and gold is from the personal banner of George Calvert. First Baron of Baltimore. Calvert was an English statesman who had converted to Catholicism under James I. Instead of being shunned from politics, his relationship with the king granted him the title of Baron. Calvert Baron. was fascinated with the New World and imagined a colony where Protestants and Catholics lived in peace. His plans were put into place. And after his death, the colony of Maryland was founded. For years, it was a refuge for discriminated Catholics from the British homeland. The cross is directly from the coat of arms for his family. Fun fact, if Maryland had actually seceded during the Civil War, this probably would have been its Confederate flag. Mississippi. Oh, Mississippi wow. has the only flag in the Union to include the Virginian battle flag. For now, the red, white, and blue stripes are in reference to the original CSA flag. Another fun fact, Mississippi had a referendum in 2001, where its flag could have been changed to this. The outer 13 stars symbolizing the colonies, the middle stars the nations which included Mississippi, and the final star, or you guessed it, Texas. No, I'm, I'm just kidding, it's Mississippi. Missouri. The flag of Missouri includes its state seal. However, it does have three stripes, red, white, and blue, in reference to its French heritage, hmm. just like Iowa. Nevada. Or Nevada, I'm not, I'm not gonna. The flag of Nevada, or Nevada, is a blue banner. In the corner is an entirely unique symbol. The words Battleborn, in reference to the state's birth during the Civil War, are above a... I have, they all seem to be to do with something of Confederacy and um, state war and Civil War and stuff. I did not learn any of this. I do not know what on earth he is talking about when he talks about any of those things. I don't even know the differences between the government or left and right. No idea. Silver stuff. I don't even know the government of my own country, let alone theirs. Our silver and gold were what made Nevada famous, even being referenced in a very low-key way in the original flag. Sagebrush, the official state flower underneath the star. New Mexico. New Mexico's flag features the red sun of the Zia, a native people closely related to the Pueblos. The colors red and gold are in homage to the colors of Spain. North Carolina. North Carolina has a blue field on the left, with a red and white stripe splitting down the middle. It has two dates, May 20th, 1775, the date the citizens of Mecklenburg County declared independence after the Battle of Lexington, and April 12th, 1776, the date when the Halifax Resolves took place the first steps taken to declare independence from Britain. North Dakota. North Dakota's flag was originally flown in the American-Philippine War, and its central eagle is in resemblance to the Great Seal of the United States. Hmm. That's it. Ohio. That's cool. Ohio never had a flag until 1902, almost a century after becoming a state. The reason why it took so long across the U.S. for states to make flags was because it seemed like having a state flag was disrespectful to the Stars and Stripes especially in Ohio. There was even a controversy when the flag of Cleveland was adopted. Yet times were changing and a state wow. flag was needed for the 1901 Pan American Exposition in Buffalo, New York. Yay. Ironically, this is where Ohioan President McKinley was shot and killed. But hey, we got a new flag. Ohio's new flag is particularly unique, not just for the states, but for any political entity. It's the only swallowtail pennant in the entire union, and just one of the few non-square flags in the world. One question is... Wow. Why? The Bergy, the official name, is based off of a military flag. This flag was flown from the Civil War until 1880. So much information and so much research and history goes into these flags that I never even knew existed. That's pretty cool. Five by the Ohioan U.S. Cavalry. While not exactly the same in design, the shape was inspired and seen as unique to the state. The circle symbolizes the O and a buckeye. The triangle blue for the hills and valleys, 13 stars on the left for the 13 colonies, and four on the right to symbolize it being the 17th state. The stripes actually mean something, representing the roads and waterways. Mm. Rhode Island. Rhode Island is the ocean state, so it's fitting that its flag would include an anchor. Its flag is a square with a gold outline, with the word hope spread across the banner. See, that's a cool looking flag. I'm not gonna lie, that is a cool the 13 looking flag. stars symbolizing, you guessed it, Te the crescent has always been a symbol for South Carolina, 
existing all the way back mm. to the start of the American Revolution. The tree was added at the start of the Civil War in reference to the trees which blocked cannon fire in the defense of Sullivan's Island during the Revolutionary War. Tennessee. The three stars on the flag of Tennessee symbolize the three grand divisions of the state the Riverside West, the Hilly Center, and the Appalachian East. All three brought together in a blue circle, that stands for Tennessee. The blue stripe on the right basically is just to balance out the red of the flag. It doesn't mean anything. Texas. Nice. The Lone Star flag for the Lone Star State. This was the first national flag for Texas, and has been used ever since. Its design is pretty straightforward and simple. The red and white stripe are reference to the flag of the Fredonian Rebellion, the very first resistance against Mexico in Texas. Hmm. The stripe symbolized the unity between the Anglo and native rebels, white and red. The single star itself is a symbol for Texan solidarity. Wyoming. The bison of Wyoming doesn't leave much to interpretation, as the state is home to large populations of bison. The red symbolizes the blood cool. of the pioneers, I've never natives, seen while the white purity. The state seal, of course, just being the state seal. Mm, wow. You know what, I actually learned quite a bit there. I know I wasn't talking that much, but there was so much history, and so much stuff that goes into making these flags that I never really knew existed. And it's actually quite a lot more history than I realised. Because uh, America, considering it's one of the newest like countries, like especially if you compare it to like France and England and you know places like that, they've been around for a long, long time, and the history goes back so far. And that's all I ever really did in history. I did a lot of English history. I did a couple of American history, but it was more to do with like cowboys and um, Scarface. I don't know if that's from America. It's been a while since I've done history. Uh, but yeah, no, I, just such a long time ago, and America's quite recent, so I have no idea with any of these stuff. No idea at all. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that reaction. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. You know, what video would you like me to react to next? If you find any good videos that are actually really good at explaining uh, the Civil War or the State Wars or whatever, that, whatever happened, I would be definitely sure to check that out. It does sound interesting, and yeah. And if you want me to react to, just shove it down there and I'll have a look. Again, it might take a while for me to get there, but eventually I will react to them. Um, yeah, another thing I have to quickly say is 94% of you guys who currently watch my content are not subscribed. So, if you do enjoy my content would like to support me on hopefully getting to my goal, which is a 1,000 subscribers, uh, it means the absolute world to me. If you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know exactly when I'm uploading next, which is every day at this point. And yeah, I hope you're having a great day or a great week or great, great everything. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode or next video. Bye.